Hi everybody and welcome to my sewing room. You're getting a little bit different view of my sewing room today because I want to show you a little bit more on the scanning cut, so don't go away. just said a minute ago we're going to do um, some things with my scanning cut today um, in the store that I work in in the classes I teach the scanning cut class and it's a really basic basic class on how to get started with your scanning cut when I first got a scanning cut probably I would guess at least 15 years ago I was really confused about the way that it worked I didn't understand all the stuff on um, how you group things, how you ungroup things. If you put a letter A on the scanning cut and it has the, um, the outside part of the A and the inside part of the A and then you go and you move it, it's hard to line it back up again. Do you, can you group them? Can you select more than one thing at the same time? Can you cut out a circle inside of a circle inside of a circle? Those things were confusing to me and it's taken me quite a long time to figure it all out, which is one of the reasons why I teach this class. The really basic how to get started, understand what the buttons do, how to group, ungroup, direct cut, cut save to cut data all that kind of stuff so if you've got a brand new scan and cut and you're just getting started and you're a little bit overwhelmed and confused then this will be a really good starter class for you okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to write my name and for this um function in the scan and cut i want it to all be one piece i don't want it to separate itself so i need to write my name um so it's one word and rosemary has a very up and down r so i have to kind of make the r go into the o it's kind of funny i really am bad at cursive because in junior high school my english teacher told me my grades were bad because my handwriting was so bad so I have printed almost my whole life since then that's not great but it'll get the point across for what we're trying to do so I've written my name and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan it into the scan and cut under direct cut okay so we're on the main page of um, the scan and cut and we have two choices here we have pattern and we have scan pattern is where all the patterns are and we'll go and play with those in a little bit but right now we're going to hit scan and then what we have is we have direct cut and scan to cut data you can also scan to a usb if you wanted to do that in fact i've used my scan and cut a few times to just scan photographs to a usb so i can put them into another program um, but to, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a direct cut. So we're going to hit direct cut. We're going to use our scan and cut to do this. And we're going to hit start. And it's going to, it's just warning me to make sure my lever's in the right place. So push start. And I'm going to scan it. Okay, so here we got the, the name, and I'm going to say okay. And you can see there's a lot of crud in the background and everything, and we just want the name, so we're going to bring it up here. And you do have to scan this on your regular um, standard mat. If you put it on a scanning mat, it's not going to cut it, because remember, we're doing a direct cut, so it's going to cut as soon as we found the shape. And if you put it on a scanning mat, it's it's probably going to tell you you can't do that um but anyway so we've got this um outlined the way that we want it to be and we're going to say preview to see if we got it good and that looks pretty good so say okay now what i want to do is if i cut this out just the way it is like this what it's going to do is it's going to kind of cut it right up against the black and i'm going to get a really skinny name probably um almost like a string it's going to cut it out so much I won't even be able to get it off the mat so I want to put a border around it and if I hit this and I hit it a couple of times 
you can see that it has started to outline this. I'm going to go back down a little bit. If I stay really close, it's got an outline around the entire name, including the cutting out the loops. And um, I don't think it's cutting out the O's and the S, but it definitely cuts this part out and this part in here. That's a little bit too close. That's not going to get what I want it to do. If I was trying to take something and cut it out and put it in um, on a poster or something, it would be um, a little bit too close. So I'm going to go back out and now it's starting to create an outline around that. And I could keep going as big as I wanted it to be. I think that looks pretty good. It's a little bit away from the black line. It makes a shape, but it doesn't cut it too many things out. So that's good. And then I'm going to say, okay. And then I'm going to say, okay, again. And it's going to show me this is the shape that I've created with this. Um, now I need to select what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to cut it out. I could draw. I could emboss. I could foil. There's a lot of things you can do, but we're going to cut this out. And now it's ready to go. I can hit test just to test it to see if it'll do a good job. Look, I just realized this says my half cut is on. You leave your half cut on when you're doing... Um, vinyl or something like that. I don't want a half cut. So I'm going to hit this and go down, half cut off, say okay. All right. Now I can just go ahead and push cut and it will cut this out. It's basically testing the thickness of my paper compared to the mat right now to make sure that it's gonna cut out right. And then once it's tested it good, it's gonna just go ahead and get started cutting. Okay, so let's just pull this little guy up. And then there we go. I cut out my name. Doesn't that look pretty cool? I like it. It's, it's kind of fun. Okay, so now we're going to do scan to cut data. And I have a picture. This is just like a little bird um, card that I downloaded from the internet. It's in clip art or something like that. Um, and I printed it on a piece of paper. And now I am going to actually use the scanning mat. You don't have to use the scanning mat. You can use the regular mat and just take your picture and stick it on there. And that works just fine. I just like the way the scanning mat works because it's not, it doesn't get sticky and dirty in here like the other one does. And it'll hold your picture in here. You can put photographs in here and scan them really easily. And it just kind of, um, protects the paper because if it's thin paper like this one is it can get so stuck you can't get it back off again and then you don't have to deal with all the icky stuff that gets on the other mat so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this on and i'm going to put this mat in here and i don't know if i mentioned this before but when you put your mat in make sure that it fits in the groove here and the groove here so that it's nice and straight across the top so that when it gets um, scanned it goes in straight and then you're going to push the little mat button that's up here in the corner so I'm going to push the mat button and it's going to say the carriage is going to move yes the carriage is going to move and I'm going to say okay let's try that again okay and now it's loaded so now I'm going to move the camera so we can get up and look at this screen a little bit better Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, instead of pushing uh, direct cut like we did before, we're going to hit scan to cut data. And then we're going to hit start and start again. Pretty much the same as we did before. I'm going to put my hand back here just because I've got it really close to the wall and I don't want it to hit the wall as it's scanning it. You can't see me do that, can you? <laughs> Okay, anyways, so it's taking a minute to recognize this. It, when it's doing scan to cut data, it does take a little bit longer. 
Okay, so this is what we've got here. Here's my bird. So I've got a couple of different um, choices here. This one here is literally just going to cut this part out, and that's it, the outside square. So we don't want that. We want inside and outside. This one here will cut right up against every single line, and it's not going to... Um, it, it basically cuts it up into a whole bunch of little tiny pieces. I don't want to do that. I want to do this because it's showing a circle and a square and it's cutting in between each one of the lines, but it's merging them together. So I want that one. And then I'm going to say, okay. Oh no, I'm not going to say, okay. I'm going to move up here. So you will notice that when you get up really close, it gets rid of all the extra stuff that we don't want. But don't get so close that you don't have the white outline around the black. Otherwise, I'm not going to get this last black square that's going to cut it out. So make sure you stay further away. And if you can see it really close, you'll notice that there is a black outline around every single part of this. Um, and then the, the main black part is gray so I can see that it's all outlined the way I want it to be. And then I'm going to hit preview. And that's going to give me an idea of what this is going to look like. Um, there is a black line right here that I'm probably going to have to get rid of later on. I don't know. I think it picked up a crease in the paper or something like that. But that's okay. So I'm going to say okay. And then I'm going to just save it to my scan and cut. Now, it's giving it a number. I'm going to say, okay, it's going to take me back to the same spot, which can be a little confusing, but don't worry about it. We, it just um, is going back to where we were when we saved it. Now we're going to push home and say, okay, I know it's saved into my retrieve data file. So I'm going to get ready to go ahead and, um, and bring this back out again so we can edit it. Okay, so I'm on the main screen here. And what I want to do is I want to go into retrieve data and then it's in my scan and cut. And if I come down to the bottom, there's the bird right there. So I'm going to say, okay, and edit. Okay. So now I'm in the edit so I can edit it a little bit and see the little red box that's around there. It's telling me that there's several little pieces in this. And if I hit the select button, it selects each piece separately. So that again tells me this is not all one piece. And if I go to move this, see how it just moved part of it? So we want to make sure it's all together. So let's hit undo, undo. Oh, I guess that's as far back as it goes. So I'm gonna hit select. Let's go back this way. And there's that little weird line that I didn't want and it's got a red box around it. So I'm gonna throw that in the trash. And that, I think there's another one there. Let's, yep, yeah, there's another one there. I'm going to throw that in the trash as well. And so I got rid of the part I don't want that way. And if you ever need to hit the magnifying glass and just see closer, you'll be able to see what you don't want or what you do want. So I'm going to say, okay. So now I've got this. Now I want to select everything on the page. So I'm going to hit the three squares. And they give you two options. You could... You could hit this and drag to the part that you want to select, or you can just say select everything on the page. See all those little red boxes? That's telling me each and every one of those is a different piece. I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to hit Object Edit. And then there's a couple different tools here. And this one right here with the triangle and the circle and the square around it is a group button. So if I hit that, it's going to group everything together. So now it's all one piece. So I can do whatever I want with it. I could save it again like this, and that way the next time I want to cut it out, it'll be in my memory already put together. Um, so I'm going to say OK. And then I want to scan my mat so I can see where my bird is at so I cut it out in the right place. You don't want to just fill up the whole mat with a big piece of paper that's going to waste it, um, but you don't want to cut in the wrong spot. So I'm going to move the camera again because I want to cut back and show you how you can put this in here and scan it and get it exactly where you want it to be. Okay, so I have my standard mat. You want to make sure that the arrow is going up. Make sure you do not cover up any of these little black squares or the machine is not going to read your mat and it's going to kick it back out again. I put a piece of cardstock on here that I'm going to use to cut it out. The pink is um, 
an embroidery tape that I put on there just because my mat is kind of old and beat up and it doesn't stick as nice as I would like it to stick. And this just keeps it as it starts to cut from moving it. So um, just in case it's not stuck as well as you want it to be. Again, we're going to load it by pushing the load button. Okay, so I'm going to put a picture in the corner of the screen of this screen so I can kind of do a far away and a close up at the same time. But what I'm going to push is I'm going to push this little square right here that looks like a picture of the mat. And when you push that and push start, it goes ahead and it scans it. And this is really, really dark, and I can't see my original drawing because the background is so dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, and then, no, let's go back. I'm going to hit the, um, the little wrench that's right here. And the very thing, first thing that pops up is this thing that says cut area, pattern area, background. And I'm going to make my background lighter so that when I say OK, I can actually see the cutout of my bird, and I can also see the, um, the paper, but it's really light. So I know that wherever I go and put this, it's going to be in the right spot for cutting it out. Now what I want to do is I'm going to say, OK, that looks pretty good. I'm going to say, OK. I could size it at that point if I wanted to make it bigger, or I could um, duplicate if I want to duplicate it. I'm going to hit, hit please select and then I'm going to hit cut which means it's ready to cut and then all I have to do is I could either do the test remember we did that a minute ago or or we could do start. I'm going to just go ahead and start it. It's testing it just to see if I did a good job, and now it's going to start cutting it out. We'll see how it goes. I always kind of put my hand back here when I'm close to a wall. I'm really close to this wall. So as it comes down closer, I want to make sure that the mat isn't hitting the wall. And I can just kind of lift it a little bit up. Or if I was smarter, I would move it further away from the wall. It looks like it's okay. It's not going that far in. It says it has a minute more to go. It's pretty good about letting you know how far into it you are. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up. And I'm going to lift this up. Be very careful because we've got a lot of little tiny pieces. You know, I was complaining just a minute ago about it not being that sticky, but it is sticky enough that it's holding on to this little bird. Let me move this really. I'm going to take the background away so that I can see. Yay! Look at that. Is that pretty or what? That's a pretty little bird card. And basically the point of this little card is that if you score it right here, you can fold it like this. I don't know if I can do this. Hang on just a minute. I'm going to grab a ruler. I'm going to lay it right here and use my point tool to score it. And there I've made like a little card and I could put a pretty fabric or a pretty paper behind here and I would be all done. So I think that came out pretty good. I like that. I think that's really nice. 
Okay, so I think that was a pretty good start into how to use your scanning cut. Um, I also want to go in and use a couple of other buttons. There's a merge button. There's also a, a, a vinyl roller that comes with it. That's the first time I ever got the vinyl roller out. I, I got a little bit confused because I didn't know exactly how it worked. But we'll, maybe we'll do something with that again the next time. But um, I hope you enjoyed that. I have to tell you something as you're looking, we're looking at the video. If you noticed that the the in the photographs that I put in the corner the the paper turned a different color that's because I had to go back and take the pictures a second time and I didn't have another piece of that dark blue paper but you get the idea um, so hopefully that was helpful and that you'll be able to go in and play with your scanning cut and I hope you had a good time watching this video and I'll see you next time bye bye